Hello and welcome everyone to our presentation on cytokine storm in COVID-19. Does it really happen? Cytokine storm has no definition. Broadly speaking, it denotes a hyperactive immune response characterized by release of interferons, interleukins, tissue necrotic factors, cytokines and several other mediators. Cytokine storm implies that the level of release cytokines are injurious to the host cell and distinguishing an appropriate form of a dysregulated immune response in the pathophysiology of critical illness is almost impossible. It is very difficult to know when the protective immune response becomes dysregulated and starts harming our body. Mediators implicated in the cytokine storm demonstrate a pleiotropic downstream effect. The interaction with these mediators and the pathways they inform are neither linear nor uniform. The quantified levels may suggest severity of the response. They do not necessarily imply a pathogenesis. This complex interplay shows the limitation of interfering in the acute inflammatory response based on single mediators and at discriminate time points. Now let's see what markers we have seen in COVID-19, especially the marker that has been most commonly checked is the interleukin-6 levels. And based on this, we have been using tocilizumab as a method of treatment for COVID-19. This is a table showing all these studies which have reported the interleukin-6 levels. Here we see the label ranges from 7 to 45 picogram per ml. These same levels when checked in severe patients of COVID-19, the levels obviously increase and the method of testing is in clinical lab. Now let's compare these values to the values which have been reported in other patients of or other studies of ARDS. Here we see that the values that we find in COVID-19 is much much less than what has been reported in previous trials. If you look at the hyperinflammatory part of the ARDS, the levels can be much higher levels of interleukin-6 compared to the interleukin-6 levels that are seen in COVID-19. Coming to the answer to our question, does COVID-19 has a cytokine storm? Do we really see raised interleukin-6 levels? So to summarize, IL-6 levels are much much lesser in COVID-19, at times 500 times lesser than severe ARDS reported in previous literatures. Some of the lesser value can be attributed to the method of estimation, but 500 times is a too much difference between the two estimates. It could indicate that there are possible other pathophysiological methods which affect the COVID-19, especially the endothelitis and the thrombogenesis and the fact that we are attributing COVID-19 with cytokine storm based with interleukin-6 levels is limited by data from very very selected group of patients especially the most sickest group of patients but even the value from the most sickest group of patients is 500 times less than those reported in other forms of ARDS. Now interventions targeting single cytokine levels in sepsis unfortunately have long been seen to have history of failure. So will we be getting any positive result with these single cytokine targets is difficult to say at this point of the time. So until we get new data, the linkage between cytokine storm to COVID-19 may be nothing more than a storm in the teapot. Thank you for your patience. Check our website for further information.